Hello, 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 Matrix. You've probably been waiting for this video. I'm so sorry. I'm only pushing it out on Sunday night. Really, I've just been, I've been worked to the bone. Over the last week or so after your aloe paper, I've been waking up at five, working until like 10 or 11 and yeah, just constantly doing something, only taking breaks to, well, shower and eat. I mean, not at the same time, eating in the shower is crazy work. But yeah, I'm already starting this video off with my nonsense jokes. And I've been a bit injured as well. I'm trying to uh, train for the Soweto Marathon as well. I'm, uh, I'm running it in November. I'm not in the best shape for it. I'm playing this game called Pickleball 2. Um, it's like a miniature version of tennis, mostly with like pensioners and that. It's like a like an old people tennis with like a hard, loud ball. And I'm really loving it. want to play it a bit competitively. And I hurt my right uh, glute. So yeah, I haven't been all that great. So every time I run, you know, like my butt hurts, if I could put it like that. But yeah, that being said, uh, let's get into today's video. So you are probably writing tomorrow uh, or maybe you're watching this before finals or maybe you're in 2026, 2027 and you're wondering what was 2025 Goon doing with his life? Well, here I am trying my very best to uh, carve my own little space in the South African education system. Okay, so that being said, uh, let us get into today's video. Straight up, we've got stats. Um, stats is typically going to be question one and question two. That is a terrible cue. Sorry, Soz. Question one is going to be your grade 10, grade 11 work. Usually, um, it could be question two and they could flip things around. Um, it's going to be your box and whisker diagram, five number summary, you know, minimum Q1, Q2, which is also the median, Q3, and you've got your max, calculate the range, calculate the interquartile range, Q3 minus Q1, and all that good stuff. You should have an ogive as well, that S-shaped graph. Remember, if they ask you to sketch it and your graph is uh, not forming that S-shape, yeah, uh, you messed up and just just do it again. Question two is going to be the least squares regression line. Uh, you know, the estimate of y is equal to a plus bx, that whole shebang. Uh, we've got your y-intercept, you've got a bit of a gradient, a slope. Um, it's really not all that difficult. Look, um, I've been tutoring now for, for six years. I was a 2019 matric. I've seen it all uh, from students from all walks of life, religions, races, genders, orientations, you name it. And one thing that is common is that they all nail down stats and you should too. Okay. So you should be getting at the bare minimum here, 16 out of 20. Try your best. It's, it's really not that hard. Okay. We're pushing for that distinction, that, that A. Analytical geometry, that is going to be question three and four usually. Look, it's it's usually like this and it might be different in your paper. Please don't, don't quote me on it, but more often than not, especially in a final exam, question three is going to be your grade 11 stuff. Grade 10, grade 11, you know, those basic formulae, calculate the gradient, calculate the distance, some basic angle of inclination type questions, the midpoint, all of that. Remember, if they ask you to calculate the length of a line, use distance formula and proving properties of a palm, proving, well, proving that we do have a palm at play, a parallelogram, um, and using the properties of a palm to prove that it is, well, a palm. Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. You know, one of my favorite things is to like go to, to like Nemo's, Colcaccio, you know, like an, like an Italian place. And they come through with like some chili, some garlic, some Parmesan, oh my God, wow. Wow, you know what? If you if you improve your school marks, okay, um, why, why why don't you take me out, okay? Let's all of us let's go on a nice date together. You can take me out, buy me some pizza, tell me about uh, you know <laughs> your 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 struggles with optimization and compound angles and double angles. Yeah, and I know that most of you are battling with those sections, but don't worry, I'm I'm here for you. And so is Kevin and Mlungisi and Maths Monkey and Mathematic and yours truly. I think Maths yours truly, Thunder Duke. Yeah, we're, we're all here for you guys, okay? We're not competitors. We are we are friends, okay? We, we, we're bras. We're all bras here. We're chomis, okay? Actually, I, I don't know. I haven't spoken to any of them. But if you, if you guys like, you know, why don't you tag Kevin in this video or tag Mlungisi? You know, those guys, they, they are really the uncles of, uh, of Maths on on youtube really they've been here for a long time me i just I, I just started okay uh that being said that was your your question three the relatively basic stuff um and then question four um that is the grade 12 work that is going to be equation of the circle 
find the equation of the circle, all the questions that come with it, having a good understanding of your your radius, how to calculate the diameter, the circumference of the circle, you know, what, what whatever it might be. In trig, you've got question five, six, and seven. Question five, that is going to be your trig calculations. You've been doing this since you were in grade 10. A nice Cartesian plane type question. Some identity, some trig equations, otherwise known as general solutions. Some trickier ones as well. Having a good understanding of your cost diagram, reduction formula, cost diagram, and how to use that, well, cost diagram. Oh my God, I've said it three times now. To figure, okay, which quadrant are we in? How do I reduce it? Is it 180 plus, 180 minus, 90 minus? 360 minus, using those co-ratios, using your special angles, using those identities, square identity, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to one, sine theta over cos theta is equal to tan theta, all that good stuff. Um, that's going to be your question five work. Question six, um, it is usually a graph, sine graph, cos graph, tan graph, understanding of your amplitude, your period, vertical shift, horizontal shift, how to calculate everything there. Yeah, it is and it can be quite tricky. Yeah, you've only done it in grade 10 and grade 11. Uh, it is not really in your grade 12 syllabus. Some of your schools may have just revised it, but yeah, you're, you're on your own for, for grade 12. Uh, question seven is your sine rule and cos rule. You are not examined on a tan rule this year. The tan rule does exist, but not in your education syllabus. Uh, and yeah, just having a good understanding of it. So for example, your sine rule, you use it when you have two angles and a side, or two sides and an angle that is not included. And you use your cos rule when you've got three sides, or two sides and an included angle. An included angle, that's an angle between, well, two known sides. And your area rule, well, you only use that one when you've got two sides and an included angle. So just knowing little things like that and yeah, you, you should be fine. Euclidean geometry, this is usually like question, I was gonna say question eight to 10, but I just wrote question 10 there because I'm silly. So yeah, that's question eight to question 10 or sometimes even question 11. It really just depends. Look, you need to know your, your proofs as well. It's like six or seven proofs that you need to know and all your basics from grade 11 all your circle geometry theorems, um, how they work, how to apply it. And look, look, if, if you're writing tomorrow, literally free throw your textbook into the bin, okay? You're done with that. You can't be doing level ones and twos and revising theorems. Just go through papers, papers, papers. Look, if you're a Gauteng kid, do the Gauteng papers. You're a KZN kid, do the KZN papers. Wherever you are, any, any Northern Cape kids here, anyone from like Kimberley, Uppington, How's it? Or like some Limpopo kids, you know, the the smaller student populations. Anyone from like Polaguane, Tsanin? How's it? Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming to Goon School. We, we love having you here. I can't really speak Venda and Northern Cape kids. My mama Afrikaans is there. It's there. Okay. Claim Biki. So yeah, um, just having a good understanding of all of that is good. And your grade 12 work, which is typically your triangles, proportion theorem, um, line parallel to one side of triangle, all of that good stuff is examinable in Euclidean geometry. Um, back when I was in matric, uh, all those years ago, World War I times, now I'm, I'm joking, I'm, I'm only 24. Um, Euclidean geometry was actually 50 marks and trigonometry was 40 marks, but things have changed up uh, quite a bit in that time. They've made the most difficult section uh, the most marks. So yeah, you've probably watched uh, the paper one video as well. And I spoke about like British and Dutch colonization of South Africa, Jan van Riebeck, etc. And you're wondering like, yo, what's this guy on? Why is he giving me a history lesson here? Okay. Um, it's because we are utilizing Bloom's taxonomy. Uh, this is a Western, a European academic concept that is still central in our teachings here because we were a former English colony. And uh, to some extent, the West still exercises control over South Africa. They're in uh, the pockets of some uh, some members of parliament. I'm not going to name any names, okay? I, I, I don't want them to kill me because that's what they do to, to peeps who criticize them, usually. The whistleblowers, you know? I'm just joking. You guys will protect me, right? You'll, you'll protect Goon. Okay, so question one, question two, question three, question four, or level one, level two, level three, level four. We've got four types of questions, the easier ones and the more difficult ones, okay? Um, you can call them levels, questions. I've heard some people call them bars. There's just, there's levels to this game. Let's call them levels. That's what I did in the first video. Okay, let's not confuse anyone. So your level one questions tend to be the more basic ones, like, okay, calculate the, the distance here of line A, B, calculate the gradient. 
whatever it is. Level two questions, um, quite similar to level ones, they build on your most basic questions. So angle of inclination, it's a bit more tricky than calculating the gradient, okay? Um, you can use angle of inclination to calculate either your gradient or you can use it to calculate an angle. It really just depends, um, but it tends to be a bit trickier. Your level threes, think of something in, let's say Euclidean geometry, prove that CF is a tangent to the circle but they haven't given you that circle and you need to like draw your own little circle like oh prove that cf is a tangent of the circle cde and you have to draw your own little circle around cde and then it's like oh my god like my circle doesn't even look like a circle it's an it's an oval what do i do yeah you, you, you you'll probably be in that position at some stage your level four questions um look i think that 2018 paper they have integrated sigma notation and trig, and you had to use some co-ratios to get yourself out of that situation. That's a level four. You probably haven't done it in class, so when you see it, you start to hyperventilate, you start to get scared, you might faint, it's a big mess. How, how could they possibly integrate sigma notation and trig and co-ratios and all of that together? That's a level four, okay? Those, are, those questions are typically reserved for the, well, the distinction candidates. Uh, I went to a school that was really, you know, toxic masculinity, a big boys school in Durban, green colors. And yeah, they were all like, oh, you know, it separates the boys from the men, you know, all, all it's, yeah, yeah. Okay. You get the point. Okay. These are slightly trickier questions. So if you are nailing down these level fours, you're most likely going to get your distinction and so on and so on. But yeah, yeah, that was that was a hectic school. Nice though, made some good friends. But yeah, this is what your paper is pretty much gonna look like tomorrow. And uh, your level ones are gonna be twenty percent of your paper. Your level twos are gonna be thirty five percent, so slightly more. Level threes get a little bit trickier, and these are the ones you. But it's the last question of every section usually, and uh, yeah, they're from a different pal planet. <laughs> but that being said, you can do it. I believe in you. You you you're very smart. Okay? You're very very sharp. Believe in yourself because I believe in you too. You can do it. Love you bye.